breathing interwebs. Oh, I just noticed that the curtain's green. That's a pretty cool touch. Definitely gotta look more into how to actually do these backgrounds myself. Because, like, I would have loved to just flat out change the logo instead of trying to work around everything besides the logo. And do a lot of other things to make it look pretty. But this isn't about me and what I've been up to. We're here with another edition of me playing through the other entries for the Paper Mario Game Jam mods. And to be honest, this was the one that I was looking forward to playing the most. Don't ask why I didn't play this one first. Just, I... Timing was half of it, because for one, I filed Dexter's mod, it was gonna be shorter than it actually was. Paper Mario, back in Bowser. And yeah, it kind of is for lose what we're about to see here. It just knows the abbreviations for back in Bowser is Bib. I don't know if that means anything, but my brain was like, hmm, that means Bib. But yeah, they lead they led off the game jam with this mod and you can already we're in for a treat. We got two custom sprites right in the front of the adventure. Starlo, Brooke, thanks so much for making the trip back. I know it's been quite a while since we've seen each other, so I wanted to catch up and make some more memories. Ah, no problem, Princess. It's great to see everyone again. Thankfully, this time there's no Dark Star to contend with. <laughs> oh. Oh no, I really going for it. <laughs> oui, oui! I am the overjoy to be back with her friends. The Zimbal Woods became somewhat barren. The Zwood is as fantastic. It is foreign. Oh! <laughs> no, it's just from another country. So the last land makes some good grub. <laughs> That's what foreign means, shell for brains. Can it, Chippy? I know I said. <laughs> Man, jumping between these three places is gonna be insane. I don't know if we can give up a bit. <laughs> Aha! It's Trace Valley! Do not be friending, my friends. The meal is delectable. <clears throat> that reminds me, I, Root Mosier, have brought a grand dessert for us all to enjoy. Own moment. This is a fun time to bring up some fun trivia of our high school did have French class, but we had a stupid setup. Well, maybe that's just... why would I deprive you all from this in this very entertaining narrative? It's really good, right? No lie. While Baruch retrieves his desserts, I'm gonna go check out the toad chest. The next course should be coming out soon. Oh, is that- did Peach always have that lifting up the, the dress and running animation? Because that looks new. I do not recall that from the Peach intermissions at all. And if that's new, that's amazing you made it- y'all made a new animation for like two seconds- for the two seconds Princess Peach would be on frame doing it. Amazing. Nice to see you too, I, I guess. <clears throat> oh, are the stars bright? Uh, uh, good, good. How is the kingdom going? <clears throat> you know, it's fine. Lots of kingdoming stuff. Cool. Oh. Oh, my friend! I have returned with the gift of sweetness! See, it's F.E. Chemtex! It's made from all local ingredients, so hopefully you like it. <laughs> wow, that's a cook for a king! Let's dig in! <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like! See, little bitties came to the drift too! Say your greetings, mon papa, friends! Oh, you didn't bring Broggy. I'm so down for a rematch. That crazy much sir can put up a fight. Oh, the blueies are super cute though. Hi there, little blueie. 
<clears throat> I am teaching them the techniques. They are the most smartest and strongest pets around. <laughs> when we return to the eating, as the blitz is all about this. Return to eating. I can't wait for the princess. There's a giant cake in front of me. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of courtesy? Courtesy's for chumps. Move out of the way, Chippy. Man, that hit the spot. <laughs> Typical. Uh, hey, Mr. Blockman. What did you say? This cake is in this cake again. Um, something's not feeling too well. Uh, what a mood, Bowser. What a mood. <laughs> All the freshest and most delicious ingredients from the Dimple Woods. <laughs> the finest flour. The fat. Spectacular sugar and a full a fungi. Such a pretty colors on the long guy. Oh, I'm really not feeling good. Uh, uh, uh. Mushrooms, dimple woods. Wait, really? What color were those mushrooms? <laughs> they were the most beautiful purple and yellows I have ever done in the seeing. They smell my feet. Purple and yellow? Those are the colors of the As I was. <laughs> As I may have been planning on bringing up. Our school technically had foreign language classes in high school, like one year, like one semester of Spanish and one semester of French, but because our school is very poor of the planning, the way they handle it, I'm all, I also, also have academic support, basically my equivalent of study hall growing up, and let's just say they decided it'd be a smart idea to skip my French class in exchange for fitting that in because they couldn't fit it into the schedule normally like a normal high school would do. Not that it would help because foreign language is probably my worst subject in the history of forever, second to spelling. Thank goodness we evolved into an age where you, the literal internet can do your spelling for you. <laughs> Anyways, old traveler, what threads have you back in these roles. It has been goblins as you two pass here. It's been too long since I played Bowser in the story. I don't really remember what the what would be a good voice for the goblins. Hey, not so goblin. Uh, good to see you as always. Bowser got the, bolt sh the vacuum shroom and we're inside of him and sucked us up. Now we're trapped and we'd like to get back out again. Please and thank you. Might be of some existence to you goblins in your efforts to escape. As may I challenge Goblin? Yes, Goblin, it is I, the Goblin of the Challenge. Not so Goblin and I have passed the time here. We've been very lonely since the last time you've seen us. We have been busy, though. Will you prepare challenges for you Goblins? Just in case you ever return. What a coincidence. Cool. What's in it for us? Perhaps we can show you the proper way out of here. Well, we don't actually know how to get you out, but if you don't complete our challenges, we won't be able you won't be able to get out. Just trust us on this. Hopefully it'll be better than the piece of cake that brought us here. Sure. Good good good. These fights will be extra spectacular then. You'll test the limits of your skill and endurance and hope to triumph over your fault. We refine our battles to uh, just cut to the chase already. Will ya? Why didn't you say so? I didn't know it was as simple as asking. And yet, the custom price don't end here. We got a we got a remix of Bowser's Inside Story. The enemies from Bowser's Inside Story. Why don't we get a little taste of what they? Look like. 
Oh, that's right. Um, there was a typo in the code, and it's just vanilla text. My baby. I sorry, I forgot about that. At least I don't have to worry about wasting turns tattling. So there is at least that perk to it all. Maybe I should have let them attack and see what they can do. Something tells me that's not the last time we see those guys, though, so I guess it's not too big of a deal. Also pretty generous of them to give us both Power Smash and Power Jump right away. Oh, it's right, it's like Paracarries. Point being, they're basic enough moves that I get the feeling that's not going to be the last time we see them. That is easy. <laughs> sure, that's the best we got. Now the slice little goblin, try these ones on. Maybe you'll change your mind. Oh, that's right, it's basically an endurance run. Maybe I should have been, been a little more stingy with my FP. That's fine, we can let... We can let some of the other enemies attack us, I suppose. Mm. Oh, no, th that's right, these ones have new text, I believe. They're proto-batter. Their clothes are nothing to scoff at. And what is that they're spinning at us? Whatever it is, it's pretty gross. Yuck. 2 HP, 1 attack power, 0 defense. How come I remember them being a little harder to defeat than that? Because, like, with them getting bigger... Well, I think we're gonna know what HP they have in, like, 2 seconds. Yeah, that's a little more than 2 HP, I believe. Well, unless I was reading their attack and not their HP in the title, I guess I'll- I can always look back in that in editing, I suppose. Alright, um... How do I do this most efficiently so I don't get my butt handed to me? Hmm. Well, I feel like it'd be a waste not to do something with Starl's turn. So, let's just go for that. Figure things out from there. We at least get to see their gimmick in action, and it's not just flavor text. They actually did go through the trouble of making the sprites a little bigger in the process. Alright. I could go for the power smash, but I think between the two of us, we'll be able to take it out before it attacks some more. And we get to see how big and chunky our little friend here gets. Congratulations, you performed well enough that we want to reward you with a goblin. Not just any goblin, but a spinny, twisty goblin. Yes, this goblin will allow you to travel various distances just by pressing and holding Z. Z? What are you talking about? You'll know. <clears throat> Not. So. Goblin. You learn to spin jump. Hold Z to spin. You spin off the ledge, you twirl across the air. Try out your new goblin, dive. Down this longish pipe. It's a new place that we devised. We spent a longish time on it. Alright. Yeah, if it wasn't crazy enough that there's actually like custom sprites and the whole Bowser inside story speed, we actually got new moves to play around with in the mix. And you, if I recall correctly, the spin dash is kinda neat because you can do it while jumping too, or am I misremembering? Oh, that's right. It's not up in the air, it's just at a diagonal. Uh, I guess it's a, I guess death perception isn't quite my best friend today. Yeah, this may be a little tricky, but... You know what? I should put more faith in the design. That's what I get for putting more faith in the design. We'll get the hang of this eventually. I'm guessing there's a checkpoint right in front of this. Alright, number two. Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> I panic jumped. There we go. And I just gotta spin down, correct? Correct. Very interesting choice of a leap in a face. Speaking of which... Oh, come on! <laughs> Actually, if I go at a diagonal, it's a little... Maybe I spoke too soon. 
easier to keep track of. Uh, all right. After a amount of time that I refuse to disclose later, back where we started, and of course I get this first try. You gotta pass attack piece cloak. An ability that gives Startle the ability to cloak Mario. Come on, Startle buddy, you can make it. Come on. Don't give up, friend. You got it. Huzzah. <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot to go in the pause menu screen and actually see what we got. Thankfully, I don't think it'll really matter. I think we'll be able to see it in the battle itself just fine. Start cloak. Make Mario transparent so he can avoid enemy attacks. Actually, what do we have for items? I was trying to avoid using them as much as possible to try to conserve them because this is all what we got for an entire mod. But I forgot to mention the peppers from Mario and Luigi come back too. The blue pepper that increases your defense for three turns and the red pepper for that boosts your attack for three turns. Maybe I can use this in combination with... Yeah, it just boosts Mario's attack, right? It's not going to affect Starlow as well... Uh, I got myself curious. Let's see how what the Tenderlings have in store for us. And then use the Pepper and then use Starlow for Mac to try to get the most out of that Pepper. Seems like Bowser's lunch has taken a life of its own. Be careful when it winds up to roll, or you might just get grilled. Max HP is 2, attack power 1, defense is 0. You can just jump on them or whack them with a hammer. You should probably stop saying you are what you eat, and start saying what you eat will come to life and attack people. <laughs> you gotta give props for the brain when it, for what it is. They definitely do, did a lot of fun things with it. Um, I think I'll choose to be a little more stingy with my FP, especially because I'm going to use the pepper next turn. Oh, Yeah, I, I see what they mean about the timing looking real weird for that attack. Shoot, and I finally had that down of all things. Ugh. Um, changing plans. I'm not going to use the pepper this turn. That Flex Feast is probably the only one I got, so I got make use out of that. Um, how much does Stardash do again? Ah! That's fine. I got this. I will one day get the timing for the attack down. And be the best of my kind in all of the land. Uh, maybe I want to pop the blue pepper. No, I'll... I think I know what in particular I want to save the blue pepper for. But I got. I'm going to use at least one in this battle just to assure that I don't hoard them all for the rest of the fight. All right, so my attack is out. Awesome. Appreciate the little logo indicating my attack is up. Would love to see that implemented in things like... I don't know if Dark Star is going to ever get an update again that significant, but I'd love to see it there. Otherwise, it'd be cool enough just to see it in Master Quest 2.0. Okay, I don't know if it Stardash did 4 attack before, but either way, it worked out perfectly for this. Cool, and I'm back in danger! Even though I just used my item and I don't want to heal now and waste the item. Um, well, with my attack boost, maybe I can take this guy out in one turn. Well, no, I gotta take him out. Otherwise, I die. Oh, do I have close call equipped this whole time and didn't even know this? It's a little hard to tell considering I don't have the bat. I haven't had a chance to actually look at my badges. Well, I mean, I have, I just haven't yet. Fantastic, I thought I was gonna screw that up because it was so far away. That's good.
I mean, quickest work of these not-so goblins. How many fights are left? I don't know, I just want to get these over with so I can begin my quiz. I let you have all these little goblin fights. All I want to do is ride their brain trains. That's so much to ask. Uh, they're not done here regardless. Goblins, prepare yourself for the next frightful beast. And you know what? Something tells me there's no proper saves in this mod, so... Let me use the magic of my GameCube to make my own really quick. Alright, at least we have a pseudo checkpoint if something terrible happens in the mix. Um, I as much as I love the tattle, there's a little pressure right now. Otherwise... I guess this is a good time to see if, it, if Starless attack got boosted before too. Nope, that's just her normal attack. I really hate to use that me melon now, but I feel like I gotta heal up with something, otherwise I'm doomed for sure. Oh, not a good time to be messing up my timing on everything. Ah, uh, dang it. Starlo, at least get one of these guys out of here. Um, do I heal? I do I have an option besides not healing again? I don't want to use the Deluxe Feast, it's way too early for that. But, uh, I don't know if this mushroom's gonna be enough to really carry me through. Especially with how daunting this guy hits. Should Cloak, is that gonna help me right now though? Because it's just, if it's like out of sight, then I'm just not going to be able to attack, attack next turn. Well, I know there's more of these guys to come along, so let's see if this takes them out. It does not. Uh, six damage. Surely it doesn't have more than 10 HP. Well... I'm going to be left vulnerable either way, so I might as well try. Oh, thank goodness. Now... Do I try to take him out now? Yeah, let me go for it. There can't be that much more left. No, I really wanted to get a look at my badge set up because... No, I guess 6 is nor a good normal set amount of damage for a badge. Yeah! Oh! Really? One more battle? That's fine, at least I... This, at least it's the most optimal time to actually use... My sweet piece and all that. Hammer throw, by the way, we learned a new skill. Use R to throw your hammer high into the air. It can hit objects like switches and foes. Prepare another area to try out your new skill. Talk to me when your goblin is ready to prove your might. Okay, so it sounds like we're actually going to get a chance to properly prepare, prepare before the fight, which would be nice. Okay, it's just close call we have. And items... Like Cloak piece, yeah, blue pepper, and a bunch of FP healing items that I probably should have used sooner. Hindsight 2020. One cares if there's else worth it now here. Looks like they actually put it put in the screen for Starlo, so that's worth checking out. Star Dash, Tattle, Star Cloak. And we're probably gonna get one more skill. After this, if pattern persists. So yeah, like, unfortunately, like we're not really gonna see anything too spectacular with this, because each of these new skills basically just have a tutorial area, and that's it. 
but you can definitely see these are some cool skills that there's definitely some fun stuff that you can do with them in future Paper Mario mods as well. It's just a little bit of a shame that this is kind of just a battle gauntlet, so you don't really get to see these field skills up in action. But again, this is a Game Jam mod that was made like in the time frame of two months, so you can't expect the world. Alright, what do we got this time? Attack P Supernova, attack that gives Startle the Supernova ability. Now, I'm kind of wondering if I should just sweep feast or use my... I think I might as well use my Deluxe Feast now. It's not like I really am going to be able to use it. It's my only healing item left, so it's... hindsight would have been smarter to use the Deluxe Feast and then use the two mushrooms outside of battle, but... Uh... I just don't want to go in the battle in freaking peril with nothing to actually capitalize on it. Marvelous, you goblins were truly our world class. Let's just show off more often so these world class skills. Speaking of which, how are those battle skills? Brace yourself for the next beast. Alright, if we were promised correctly this last fight, and a pretty spectacular time to be starting to open, except for the fact I haven't actually tell these guys. Let's do this first. The Goomba will probably still be there, so there will be time to tail it later, I suppose. I think they're basically just giving me two two of the three buttons. Okay, I'll be honest, I was hope, hoping for that to, to cover a bit more ground than it actually did. Uh, if only I had like multi bounce or something. We'll roll with it though. I feel like you might. I can't quite remember who's a bigger friend of the two, but I'm gonna take it as you. Dang it. Okay. I am not gonna survive this. I either have to choose between tattling or dying because I'm all out of healing items. I'm sorry. Maybe if I can... Maybe if I remember, I'll just go back to this mod real quick and tattle these guys. But I really do feel like if I don't tattle... If I take the time to tattle them, I won't be able to take them both out. And... This isn't gonna... This is gonna be a mess in of itself. Alert, alert, alert. Oh, goblins. Oh no, not the guardian. You defend this place, right? Remember us? Hmm, it appears I've seen this before. I apologize. My retrieval protocol has grown stagnant in the past year. Sorry, just don't start attacking us again, please. We're just dealing with these two. We just want to look around. We're trapped here again. We're trying to escape faster than last time. Look around. Permission granted. Do not overstep your bounds, however. I must remove you if you tamper with any memories. Tamper with memories? Yeah, so she's still spending training to things like the Koopa family lineage, secret castle plans, Bowser's mint condition, chandelier, funerals, and the miracle cure. The miracle cure? Affirmative. That might be our ticket out of here. Pretty please, can we look at them? I see, yes. Stay. The miracle cure is strictly off limits. I must apologize, but I must defend the mind of my master with disobedience. Oh, cool. Do not take this personally. We just asked. It wasn't like we were gonna actually do it. Oh, Showtime's a cute reference in and of itself. Alright, so... Gotta take on a boss fight. With basically... No. Take on a boss fight, not at full health. No healing items. I'm sure this is going to go great. Do I tell him now or do I just try to get the supernovas in while I can? 
I vouch for the latter. Figure out what these guys are about eventually. Cool! Something tells me I'm gonna die, so maybe that tail won't be so bad of an idea after all. Might as well show off the blue pepper before I do so. You know, the whole... The whole shell. Bowser's Memory, MX. Bowser's Memory, ML. This is Bowser's Memory, MX. Or is that you, Mario? Oh man. You can't jump on them or whack them with... You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. Oh good, I thought that said same. Can't for some reason. But one of you knows my favorite color is yellow. Oh crud! Whoops. I mean, the, you gotta get props for how creative the attacks are, and oh, holy cow, that's like 20 HP. Yeah, I am not making it through this in one piece. <laughs> that is just a given fact. I'm gonna try, though. That's for sure. That said, I might as well tail the other one, too, to see how it goes. This is Bowser's Memory ML. Now, this one I know, but we didn't get sucked down here with us. Or did he? It looks really similar to him. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. Wait, Luigi was playing Tennis with Daisy today. Go ahead and whack this bad to your heart's content. Glad to know that your faith and confidence in us is so fantacular, Starlo. Then again, I guess it's been a few years since you've last even seen Mario, of all things. Yeah. I did make a save point, but I'm it's so close to the beginning, I think I might just start over from the beginning of my own time, see if I can conserve my items a little better to the end. Because not having full health for that fight in particular is a little bit punishing. Is that the word I'm looking for? It's certainly a challenge, to say the least. Alright. See you all in a sec. You know what? I wasn't going to record until I got back up to where I was, but... Why not? Just in case something fun happens along the way. I'm going to really try to optimize health. I think my mistake before was trying to optimize FP. Or conserve my FP for later on when... I should really be going all out early on with the FP moves and just use my syrups to recover. Also, like, because this commentary I wasn't really planning on counting. Apologies in advance if I. Uh, if the AC gets picked up in the mix. I'm gonna turn it off when I actually get caught back up. <laughs> but I figured that until it's actually serious time again. There's no point in turning it off, especially when I don't even think wasn't originally planning on keeping any of this in. So at this rate up, there's probably gonna be an I'll take or two along the way. Hopefully I can just get good with editing audio. Or like with removing sound background noise and just deal with that. One thing I don't think is actually implemented that would have been really cool is like if as the enemy gets bigger, the radius that you would have for Starlow's Star Dash got bigger as well. Like, I don't even know how possible that is of a thing, but it would be a fun way to make the gimmick of that enemy even more interesting. And I just figured while I'm actually feeling up the talking, I throw that out there. Actually, maybe I'll stop recording because I just remembered this is the part where I might, like, fail in embarrassing ways 20 times in a row in that skinny platform section area. See, you don't even need to do anything extra to get through that portion. No, I'm freaking shot. 
Uh, yeah, I guess you have right to be ashamed of me, Starlo. Starlo, no, I didn't do that bad. Where are you going, Starlo? Starlo? Come on, buddy, Starlo. It's just a silly little spin fail. You can stop now. You can stop. Oh dear. Where are you going now? Starlo, it's gonna be okay, my friend. We're gonna get through this stupid narrow platform obstacle, and we're never gonna have to worry about it ever again. Promise. We got this. See, first try. Come on, Starlo. Uh. I'm... For you, I will make sure that we never have to do that again. <laughs> you saw nothing. No, Starlo, don't jump again. I, I promise I'll... I, I promise I'll get good. I promise. I promise I'll do better. Just stop hurting yourself like that. My friend. Starlo's a she, right? It's been way too long since I played Partners in Time, and that was the only Mario and Luigi game I played that has Starlo in it. I know she's been like a mainstay in the series ever since Bowser's Inside Story. I'm glad that, like, they were able to find a sidekick character that worked after the failure that was Stufflo. I, in my humble opinion, I don't think Stuffle was that bad of a party member, but I can appreciate Starlo more, even if she does have self-confidence issues, apparently. Uh, I wonder if this section is harder for me than the actual boss. Just jump and don't be dumb again. <laughs> no! At this rate, I'm going to be able to have a video just of outtakes from this and Princess Peach's cooking adventure in of itself. Or at least I would have a you know, from cooking Princess Peach's adventure alone if my recording setup didn't like screw up during what, half of the failed attempts. This song note is fine. Why did that not work? No, 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 don't overshoot again. Star, oh, Star, oh, come back. Okay, what am I doing wrong? I guess it's kind of hard for me to see where the edge of my jump should be with the block in the way. And that way, I, well, that time is because I keep panicking and jumping before the spin animation ends. I'm kind of afraid to even look at how long I've been at it, because I know the battles only took like five minutes tops. So, I mean, so any time past this point, the Starlo, Starlo, Starlo. I know I deserve, I know I, I'm not helping your, the, the problem, but please, I'm begging you, Starlo. It's not worth it. I, I will get good. I will get good. Just have faith in me. Okay, okay, okay here we go. Ah, uh, half tempted to make my own save point on the magical GameCube, because it's kind of embarrassing how many times I screwed up in this section in of itself. Oh, thank goodness there's an invisible wall there. Anyways, I... Oh, I forgot to heal. At least this was the only FP I had to worry about healing. Only 10 minutes? I think that was the longest 10 minutes of my life. Well... Maybe not, but it definitely feels like the longest 10 minutes I've had in a very long time. I'm gonna just assume that Star will be enough to take it out and get my FP recovery in now. Because oh boy am I gonna be a fool if this doesn't take it out. Here comes my foolish foolery. God, I'm getting deja vu. That wasn't my most proud moment in gaming history.
Well, there's the guy that I promised to tattle. In the moment where I least want to tattle. Alright, Power Smash can take this guy out one hit, right? Okay, I like to don't feel so terrible about wasting my FP. Can't believe I'm back in danger again. I think I can at least take him out. Oh, I forgot to tattle. You know what? Let's just tattle. If I die, I die. There's probably more often a way that I could do the last fight anyways. This is a Chumboomba. I would believe that a Goomba could get this fat, but I guess when you're on a diet of Chocola Cola and Star Candies, that'll happen. Stats are a lie. You could jump on them or whack with them with the hammer. They might need to catch their breath every so often, but they put the key things you could use. They really back punch. Oh, is that implying they attack every other turn? No. Well, it was a nice run while it lasted. And at least I assured myself that even if I have to start over, I never have to do that section again. Because yeah, unfortunately, a game over does boot you back here and there's no saves within the actual mod itself. Unfortunate. So this should take him out. And there's no point power smashing because it takes two attacks either way. There I go with the guards. Oh, so now I'm guarding like a pro. I guess better late than never. 4-4 two, two, four, four takes out that guy. This guy can take it out in one hit, but I can't reach him. And I'm fairly certain that it's spiky. It's got a helmet with a giant spike on the top of his head. I'm pretty sure it'll hurt if I jump on it. I remember the power pattern one. Oh yeah, also we got Star Nova for this fight, so... Star Nova should help too. It's kinda cool to see the hammer throw in action. The more I think about it, I think I saw like someone post in like the shared resource tab. Hammer for all thing, but I never actually seen it in action. Maybe this, maybe that's where they got the spin smash thing too. At least now I can supernova. Oh, right, different controller. Dang it, it's a butt. It's not a button on this setup. Well, I'm dead. I don't see your thing getting around that. No point in three. Maybe I can at least finish off the big guy. Oh yeah, the, the big. I always think the big guy is more bulky than he actually is. Shoot, maybe I could have actually survived this if that was the case. I do have just enough FP to start over again. Who knows, maybe if I actually beat all the enemies in one attack. Much better. I, I, on one hand, I should have healed. On the other hand, the only heal I have left is the... the Lux Feet. And I kind of want to just use it in this fight anyways. <sighs> Alright. Freak out over us talking about the miracle cure. Two HP. Uh, kinda want that defense now though, so there's no way I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna count on the out. I'm gonna count on the defense and close call. And then the Lex Fee's next turn. Wait, how come I did five this time? 
Well, there we go, GG. See you all when I get back up to this point, I guess. Half an hour later. Hmm. For penultimate fight, you see how my health is. This is what I got left. So I'm thinking before the fight, I could use the Super Shroom. And, ah, do we go for the Maple Syrup or. Well, the Honey Syrup almost heals me up to full anyway, so. Yeah, I think I'll use the Super Shroom and the Maple Syrup, or Honey Syrup now. Maybe if I can find an opportunity, I'll heal one of these other things before the final fight. And I. I knew that during the stream, people brought up concerns of. If, about soft locking yourself to you use your items up too early. I was, even from watching the stream, I was not prepared to have to be this optimal with my item usage. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, oh, I did not. Okay, thankfully you are back and they don't have to go through the very beginning. For some reason, I didn't think that they didn't put on invisible walls up around here, uh, just for some reason or another. Alright, time to hopefully not get my butt handed to me. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that this is the fight they want me to use the Supernova that I just got. Well, if I can get high enough to take out one of these enemies, that'd be good. And Mario can probably finish off the Goomba. So, it should be fine. Alright, C down, A and B. Nowhere near enough, but I can at least. Oh, that wasn't enough to take out the guy. I was shooting for six rather than five, but I, as long as it works out the same way. All right, so you're gonna do slightly more, but that's I'm pretty sure that's still less overall damage taken. So everyone took five. It's four gonna... That's like nine damage. But these guys... I remember these guys being way more bulky than they appear. Let me start with... Taking the meat out. Cool, I'll do five now. Maybe I should have attacked them with Starlow. Well, I'm gonna take a chance. Might bite me in the butt. I tattle things because it'd be nice to see their HP, but with these battles being as tight as they are, I'm afraid to even do that. Alright. There's time to charm. Oh no, the Guardian. You don't recognize us? Oh, I do recognize you. Okay. Just don't... You can... We need to get out of here. Don't kill us. Okay, I won't kill you as long as you don't try to touch these particular things. Bring, start all bringing up the one thing that the thing told us not to touch. Like, could've kept that in your mouth. You know, he could've just said no. But hey, we're here. Can I take one damage with 10 HP though and save my items for a tiny little bit longer? Can I get like one tattle off? I think if I blue pepper, I should be good to take at least a hit or two. So let's give that a shot and go from there. Uh, do I really want to waste a turn tattling though? It might help in the long run. Excuse me. 
Um, was that intentional? That, uh, that jump was new, I'll admit. The jump caught me off guard. Alright, maybe I can just assume they both have 20 HP, but am I really gonna keep track of that? Hmm. Aw oh, man, I thought it was only a little bit weaker than I could use the melon without any regret. Do I want to, like, take the hit, though? I don't- I recall I'm not doing 10, 10 damage worth- 7 damage worth of damage, you know? I guess if I really- no, but if I hide, that's not gonna do me any good either. Um, well, let's let out Power Smash first and foremost. Okay, it must have defense, because that was a freaking Power Smash. Do I start Nova? No, I want to save the FP for a start. Well, but if I start Nova, then I can just use the Deluxe speed. Why do I keep calling it Star Nova? Uh, one more go, just in case I need to hide. Here comes something. Okay, just barely enough. I can work with that. Do I go for Deluxe Feast now, or pop up in the lemon? Picking up, pop the melon, Star Nova. Depending on how much damage I take this turn, I either use the Deluxe Feast or just the Syrup and go from there. Alright. Alright, Starlo, do your thing. Not as much damage as I was hoping, but... Okay, only four. Not bad. I could probably take another set of attacks. We don't really have the FP to work around with. Surely Mario's gotta be... The Mario Mario's gotta be... At least close to going down. Um... It's like 5, it's taking at least 10 damage. Do I pepper now, or maple syrup for, you know? I need maple syrup and hide from the attack for one turn. Then I can come back with Avengers next turn. Yeah, that definitely seemed like a good idea. Alright, um. If I power jump, will that be enough to take him out, though? I'm willing to chance it. Just the possibility of finishing him off this turn. Uh, would have been worth it. And I really wish I didn't have to waste a turn tattling. Oh. So I can go for a Star Nova now. That will at least give me a gauge of how much more damage I need to do to him. Nice, I think that was the Sixer. Okay, there we go. Go. Feel a lot better about doing this now. Because for one, there's nothing this guy can do to finish me off this turn. Awesome. Wow, I, I didn't even need to use the Deluxe Feast. Or the Red Pepper. It actually feels like a bit of a shame not to use the Red Pepper. But I just couldn't find a good opportunity to take it in the mix. That's it! That's all the mods speeding. At least all the ones that I haven't already played. If we did it, we're gonna be free! Okay, Mr. Gary, turn into your peach form and show us the way to the cure. We did win fair and square. Not permitted. I'm um, everything already. Fire's not contained. It's, uh...
And we're all safe and sound. Marl. We're back. Oh, my friends! It's the best of seeing you again. Yeah, yeah, glad you're all my sets one piece. Now, where's our next course meet? <laughs> then. Cool. I'll double check the stream, but I'm 99% sure that's where the the mod ends anyway, so I guess we're ending off on this. That was Back Inside Bowser. Awesome. Awesome mod. A bit difficult. Bit more bit more tight than I was planning. But like if I was playing on my own time, I don't even think the difficulty would have been that big of an issue because it would have made the mod last longer. Unfortunately for recording, it made the mod last longer. <laughs> All's well that ends well, though. Uh, ignore the fact that this is how we're ending. I'll see y'all later. Take care.